Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm uh, out in the woods today testing out a new piece of equipment. Uh, I've also got some new editing software to test out as well so it's a weekend of testing. Um, yesterday was when I got back from the hammock camp just to sort of give you a reference of <laughs> time frame whether this comes out before that video or not I'm not sure I don't think so. Right, yeah, but I'm on my GoPro. And this time I can actually say it's a GoPro because it is one. I've got the Hero 10 Black. <laughs> Just has to double check. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's my uh, first time with a, with a GoPro. I've never used one before. Um, but uh, a friend of mine's got one and he says it's really good. So, uh, this is uh, Steve's advice and his, not hearsay, but uh, under Steve's advice. It, is, it does feel like a good sturdy camera, it's supposed to be 80, uh, sorry, supposed to be um, waterproof to um, 33 meters. I'm not sure if I'm going to test the waterproofness today. <laughs> I'd hate for it to like die straight away. But uh, I do plan on using this on the wolf run uh, and when I'm out on my bike. Uh, and I've got a new bike coming as well. So yeah. My new bike is the um, Voodoo Brag. Or Brag. From um, uh, Halfords I'm getting it from. It's supposed to be quite popular. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Well, you'll see how I get on, I suppose. But uh Let's just keep walking through this woodland. I wanted to test like the light levels, the sound, things like that. I know. I don't remember being able to come to the stream like this before. How strange. It's um, got a smart uh, stabilization for sure but also it can detect which way it's up a bit like a phone i guess my uh, other action cams have been cheap and they couldn't do that so i'm currently filming upside down <laughs> i wonder what happens if i flip oh you know it carries on oh that's interesting now then to test the stabilization i'm going to run with it in my hand like this And we'll see how stable that is on my old camera that'd be terrible i've never tried it on the um on the phone for fear of dropping it but the little uh, handle that this comes with is very secure and uh, it feels quite nice in the hand as well right that's enough i haven't run in ages Right, how are we doing? Battery wise isn't too, too bad. And the uh, 35 gig SD card that comes with it, 35, 32 I think it is, card that comes with it, films for about an hour 10. So I'll probably just have to pick up some more cards at some point. It comes with two batteries, so that's good. I won't do a box opening or contents or such. You can look on their website if you're interested. Um, but these are my first thoughts. I might do a review on it after a few months of using it, but we'll see. All right, anyway, we are. this way. Hey, uh, another thing I wanted to do, I mean, I, I love this forward-facing camera as well. But another thing I wanted to do was um, check out what it's like in uh, low light. Whether it goes grainy at all. Oh, it still smells like new camera. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean by that. Sort of like rubberized. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, although it is quite light actually, so maybe this isn't a good test.
yeah, the stabilization is supposed to be pretty good on these things, so it does feel quite heavy in the hand. Yeah, it's a heavy old built to last camera, I would say. I would hope, anyway. <laughs> What do we reckon about this little tripod then, eh? Pretty stable. Also folds up and becomes a carry handle, which is nice. Yeah. Am I going to put you in the water? Not today. No. It's quite low anyway. It's a bit mucky, actually. Oh, look at all those midges. Can you see them? Uh, another thing, obviously, is that this film's in 4K, whereas the other camera I had was 1080 at best, and that one that I bought for under £20. I don't know what the hell that filmed in. Rubbish. <laughs> so, these cameras are, well this, this one, because it's the current one, was very much on the um, steep side of uh, pricing. So if you're just looking for an action cam to just document your outdoors and you're not that bothered about it, maybe get something a bit cheaper. Um, or you can pay more for something that's going to be reliable quality. Uh, and you get you do get quite a lot for it as well. I opted for the accessory kit, which I would advise because you get a lot of things um, that would be very useful. And then you can pick up like the other accessories for like a tenner. Um, I've also gone for the screen protectors. So I want to look after my camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm liking it so far. It's good. The root, the root of all evil. I want to get to the root of the problem. Sometimes it's nice to get back to your roots. Oof. I'll stop now. Okay, this is new. The path used to go straight through there. Wow. I don't even remember the, the last time we had that much wind. Okay, we'll go this way, somebody's carved out a new path up here. Oh, well, that really is the root of the problem. Look at that. What what tree is that? It's, it looks like quite a shallow root system. Beach? Mm, probably not. Wow. Yeah, the path just runs along there. Right. That was interesting, wasn't it? This is my, um, oh, I'll turn you around. <laughs> I usually have to flip it around on the, on the um, phone. This is my uh, lockdown woods. Oh, look, another one's gone down here. Oh, there are some bluebells about. Oh, uh, um, and, and back down, this is a bit more of an adventure. Yeah, so um, this is my lockdown woods. Uh, where I came to most of the time when the when the house was getting a bit much, I needed to get out. Uh, and bearing in mind, I worked through uh, lockdown in the office as well uh, as an essential worker. So I can't imagine what it was like people who had to uh, work from home all the time. They must have loved getting out to places like this. Uh, but yeah. I haven't been here for a little while, actually. It's um, changed <laughs> a little since I was last here. But it looks like it's maintained somewhat, judging by all this cutting that's happened. Wow, a lot of trees have come down. Yeah. Ooh.
Huh, okay then. Of this style seems to be losing bits all the while. One of the things I love about this path as well is that it's so quiet. Having said that though, today I have met two people. <laughs> Alright, there's cows in this field, I'll uh, just keep going. <laughs> right, now we're out of the trees, this is what it's like in the lights. Okay. Can you, can you zoom in? Okay, so that's 1.4 times zoom to try and see those cows. A good test of the wind as well. It is open here. They haven't spotted me. Can I change the zoom whilst it's recording? No. Don't think so. It's able to beep. Right. Can you even get over here now? Not really on the style because that branch is down. So I guess I'll just have to, there we go, that's a shame. That's like someone's in the progress of sorting it out, I suppose, needs to be doing really. Actually, yeah, this, this big branch is down, you suppose it had a big knobbly bit on it. I guess. Right. Under the hedge, tree, hedge, whatever this is. A little bit darker here. Good test for it though. Right. Once I get out onto the field and back onto the road and then I'm going home again. So, I will sign off here. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, I know this is not a very uh, interesting one, it's ma mainly just the test of the camera, but uh, if you've enjoyed it leave a thumbs up nonetheless, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! Oh no, it's upside down. Okay, I thought I'd hit record, um, but apparently I didn't. Anyway, I've just come out of this field. Um, and over this rather suspect stile, which does have a bit for a dog to get through uh, amongst all that foliage somewhere. Um, but yeah, I was just saying, this is getting starting to get a bit overgrown already. And it'll get worse as the uh, season progresses. Uh, ooh, but there we go. Lovely. Lovely siren as well. <laughs> right, I'll see you again. Ah, oh, highlight. Oh, I'm still filming. Oops. <laughs>